In determining treatment for Achilles tendonitis, it is important to first determine the cause. Elimination of factors that are exacerbating the problem, such as poor athletic shoes, lack of adequate warm-up, or poor running surfaces all need to be addressed. Orthotics for Achilles tendonitis If it is determined that a particular foot structure is the causative agent then an orthotic should be tried. An orthotic will do a couple of things. 1. It raises the heel slightly, thus decreasing the tension on the Achilles tendon. Reducing tension reduces pain. 2. An orthotic will also help absorb shock particularly in those with high arched feet. 3. In people with flatter feet, an orthotic will create better alignment and better function of the Achilles tendon. This is an important point to note, because people with a tight Achilles tendon, will tend to have feet that flatten out too much. By pronating or flattening out of the feet, this decreases the distance, ever so much, between the origin of the tendon, and its insertion into the heel bone. By decreasing the distance, you decrease the tension. In order to reduce the complications associated with this condition, conservative treatment should be instituted immediately. Other conservative treatments include Icing the area, will help reduce the inflammation and pain. In mild cases, where you are still participating in athletics, I would advise ice both before and after exercise. Stretching of the Achilles tendon is also mandatory, however, it should be pointed out that for most people, stretching will relax the tendon slightly but does not actually stretch it. Short-term use of anti-inflammatory medication is also helpful. This type of medication is indicated for acute tendon problems, and should be limited in chronic forms of tendinopathy. If these simple measures do not seem to be helping, then cessation of the athletic activities, rest, is also mandatory. Remember, our goal here is to minimize damage and not let the condition worsen. Night splints, for Achilles tendonitis is another means to reduce Achilles pain and aid the tendon in healing. This is accomplished through wearing a night splint during sleep. This keeps the Achilles tendon in its proper position, while sleeping. In more severe cases a chem walker, or walking cast, may be necessary to keep the tendon immobilized all day long. The less the tendon is forced to stretch, and overwork, the quicker it will heal. In situations where these simple procedures have not helped, then physical therapy may be necessary. This consists of a program where the physical therapist works on reducing the inflammation, while at the same time tries to increase the flexibility of the Achilles tendon. We generally do not give cortisone injections for Achilles tendonitis particularly at the insertion into the heel because this has been shown to increase the chance of Achilles tendon rupture. If injectable cortisone is to be used, it should be injected underneath the skin and not directly into the tendon.